Hey everybody, welcome back to From the Workshop. I am your host, Brandon Hart. We are here with another nerd note. We are once again in the nerd lair. I am your nerd host. Let's do this thing. I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about something that you may or may not be aware of with the Skywire modem. Um, that is this interface back here, these pins. Um, so these are essentially dual 10 pin header rows that are built into every single Skywire mode. If you look across the entire product family, you will see those same 10 pin header rows uh, for a total of 20 pins that are the physical interface that is used to put them into any different board. So what's cool about that? Well, when you're designing a product and you're trying to figure out uh, you know, how you're going to, to take it to market, maybe what part of the world it's gonna go into, what networks you're gonna put it on, these are things that typically, if you're if you're at a module level, let's say, you have to figure out ahead of time because you're going to solder these things in, and that's it. Uh, you're going to you know certify the, th the the product with that module in it, and then that's what you've got. But with, essentially, what we're doing with this is we're saying just put in that standard interface onto your board, and now any one of the Skywire modems will fit into that board. So you design your board once and now you can make it work with AT&T, you can make it work with Verizon, you can make it work in, in Germany on Vodafone or whatever you wanna do by using the appropriate Skywire modem in that uh, interface. So that's really the idea here. This gives you future-proofing capability. So we've got customers that started with 2G Skywire modems and they put that interface into their design. They can pull the 2G modems out, put the CAD M1 stuff in, update their firmware to send the appropriate AT commands and their product is done. They don't need a, a whole board redesign to do that kind of stuff. So that is the idea around the Skywire interface. Just wanted to point that out real quick so that you understood what we were, uh, what we did when with the design of the Skywire modem. There's a lot more information out there. We've done other full format, long for, longer format from the workshop videos. Those are linked down in the description and uh, check those out, subscribe, tell us how you like these little uh, nerd notes, and until next time, have fun building.